Yeah, let's just let's just start this shindig and get working. <coughs> Hey everybody, this is Riker Rider, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Dragoon. Last time, Deningrad got destroyed. But there's new stuff for us to do. There are actually five Stardusts you can get here. Uh, but you can only get them after, uh, after the city is leveled. There's actually two of them out by the... Uh, where's the second one? It's around here somewhere. There we go. There's a couple of them out by the weapon and armor shop. There's one in the there's one in the clinic, and there's two there's two in the castle. That's all we're really all we're really coming back here for is those five stardusts. One thing you may have noticed is that we haven't run into Martell yet. Well, the reason why is because Martell doesn't show up in Disc 3 until after the Divine Dragon attacks uh, Deningrad. Now, the, the third Stardust is in the clinic. It's in a really weird place, too. You wouldn't think to look here. And the other two are in the castle. Thankfully, the two in the castle are in much more obvious places than than this. Another thing I did off-screen, uh, in between episodes, was I bought three mind purifiers. And restocked on other healing items as well. Because we're going to need them for the next boss fight. It's not as hard as the as the last boss fight, but it's still damn hard. Now, if you check the rubble next to Shauna, next to uh, Shauna's collapsed room, you'll get a stardust. And the other one is over by the signet room. See, the path to the signet room is collapsed, but if you check the rubble, you'll find a stardust. That's number forty-five. Now, the rest of the Stardusts in the game, since there are only five left and we've got a whole disc left, are few and far between. And as you can expect, since there are only five Stardusts, you know, only five Stardusts we haven't found, Deningrad is one of the last towns in the game. So you can imagine how much action there's going to be in Disc 4. I hope you guys are looking forward to it as much as I am, but we've still got a lot of tough fights left in Disc 3. And Martell's over here, uh, tending to wounded, and there were a lot of them. Yeah, she's, uh, yeah, she'll, uh, this is where she spends Disc 3, is just tending to wounded. That's why you couldn't find her before. And we have a whole bunch of Stardust. Should be, yeah, 15. And we have reached uh, the threshold for Martell giving us the fourth reward for giving her 40 Stardust. And it is really powerful. Really, really useful. The Rainbow Earring. This is, this is essentially Legend of Dragoon's Ribbon. It's an accessory that will prevent all status ailments, physical and magical. Really useful accessory. Now, we haven't been to the Mountain of Mortal Dragon yet because there's, a, there's always been a guard in the way. It's actually pretty close to uh, the path from Deningrad, so I don't think I'm even going to cut any of this out.
yeah, this guy will stop you if you if you uh, if you try to go to the mountain earlier. And apparently nobody's been past you. And in this chest we get a mind purifier. Take note that I bought three of those back at Deningrad. This shows you how many mind purifiers you're going to need for this next boss. And now we have reached the Mountain of Mortal Dragon. This place is pretty big and there's a lot of items to get here, including a really important one that I want to point out when the time comes. Thankfully, this one isn't permanently missable. And I believe this track is unique to this area. I really like the ambience of it. Get an attack ball here. Probably gonna end up using that during the boss fight. Depends on how much the random number god cooperates. have for new enemies here. We have a trio of baby dragons. The only real notable thing about uh, these guys is they can dodge your attacks. They have a couple of magic attacks they can use. But they're really... They're really not wor they're not uh, that worrisome. They don't even do that much damage compared to the other uh, the other monsters on the Mountain of Mortal Dragon. Mind purifier drop sure would be nice from these guys, because they do drop them. I think with a group of three, it's a one in four chance of getting a Mind Purifier. Now, normally I would use a character that has more, uh, uh, more attack power than Maru. But Maru really needs to start working on her additions. Especially if I want to show just how much of a game-breaking goddess she is in Disc 4. Although I don't think I'm going to get nearly that far with her additions. Now that should level up Rose's Hard Blade, so it will actually be useful. If we can get one more level out of Hard Blade on this mountain uh, before we hit the boss, that would be great, but I doubt it. Oh, Al gained a level. I guess he was closer to a new level than I thought. Now what do we have in here? We have a Mind Purifier. That'll be useful. Now we've got, what, five? And yeah, you're gonna you're gonna need them. Cause it's not just uh, the boss that that inflicts magical status ailments. Uh, there are a few regular enemies around here that can do it as well. Now this path splits off a bunch. The top one goes to the top of the mountain, I believe. I believe the other two go to chess. Sigh. What do we have here? We got a couple new enemies. We have Mega Sea Dragons. And we have 
a deadly spider. As you can expect, the deadly spider is immune to poison. And the Mega Sea Dragons can use fire elemental attacks. Even though their tails are on fire, uh, their physical attacks do non-elemental damage. Additionally, a lot of the enemies on the Mountain of Mortal Dragon have a high counterattack rate. So you will need to watch out for counterattacks when you're performing advanced additions. The Sea Dragons do not have very much HP, though, only 176. Doing pretty good on those counterattacks so far. Ow! That's pretty harsh. There we go. Now Maru's finally getting in for some decent damage. Oh, wow, we got two drops. And Mar Thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! Rainbow Breath is such an amazing Dragoon spell, and it's part of why... Uh, it's part of why Maru is so awesome. The Rainbow Breath spell is identical to uh, Shauna and Miranda's... Uh, what spell is it? Gates of Heaven spell, except it also cures status ailments, and it only takes up 20 MP. In this chest, we get Giganto Armor for Kongol, which I'm going to equip off-screen because I don't plan on using him in this area. After that last battle, Dart finally reached Dragoon level 5 and learned the Red-Eyed Dragon Summon. Even though the... even though in the, uh... not menu, but... but in the spell select... on uh, the spell selection screen, it says it deals 175% of power and damage. Uh, it doesn't. It only deals 75% all, so it's basically a final burst that targets everybody. What's in here? Well, I'm gonna just... I'm just gonna pitch some useless thing. Uh... I'll pitch that. What do we get? We get a Healing Breeze! Cool. Now there's only one way to go, and that's up. We have a new enemy, Wyvern. The Wyvern is probably the single most dangerous enemy. Because uh, he has a two-turn attack that deals a lot of damage. He can use Rave Twisters. He's got almost 600 HP. Good defenses on both sides, looks like. Just a dangerous enemy in general. I might need to use a Healing Breeze after this battle. But what... One really neat thing about the Wyvern is he has an 8% chance of dropping a downburst. And these are, I believe this is the first enemy you can actually farm uh, powerful magic items off of. So if you feel the need to, you can farm downbursts here, but I don't think there's a single Earth Elemental boss. For a while. Are there any more Earth? Are there any more uh, Earth? Oh, this is gonna hurt. This is probably gonna kill Maru. Yep. Wow, that dealt more damage than she had max HP. Well, I guess I just can't let people die in the boss fight. 
Oh, if I recall, there's one more angel's prayer we can get on the way up the mountain, so I should still have three. I was really hoping I could have four, but... Nope. That was not nice, game. Yeah, I think I am just going to use a healing breeze. Oh, Miranda leveled up. Yeah, yeah, I should probably pop a healing breeze to get, uh, to get Maru and everyone back up, because it looks like Rose, like, Rose kind of needs it, too. Yeah, there's only one more place to go on the, on the mountain, and that's up. Speaking of which, uh, speaking of which, I remember hearing a lot of good things about the movie Up. I was going to go see it with my cousin when, when it came out, but we just couldn't find a good day to do it. And in this chest we get the mighty Dragon Helm. This is a piece of headgear that can be equipped by anyone. The greatest thing about this, uh, the greatest thing about the Dragon Helm is that it raises maximum HP by 50% and it gives Maru a very nice attack boost. Or, not attack boost, but a very nice magic attack boost. Although it's more for the HP than that. The boss fight alone is going to take at least 20 minutes. And then I think there's a big scene at the castle. Oh. That's a divine... Wait, what? Is there somebody already up there? Great. Yeah, the divine dragon kind of has magic. That seems to be the case. We don't need any more towns getting destroyed. I do like the Divine Dragon's cry. It's, it's a pretty cool cry for a dragon. Over in this chest, there's a Total Vanishing. I'm going to ignore the save point for now because there's a couple items I want to get here uh, farther up and I'd rather not have to uh, get these every time I get killed. Yeah, somebody's already started fighting it. Well, I guess we could use the help. In here we get uh, Body Purifier. And there's a hidden treasure chest. There's a hidden treasure chest in front of the, uh... It's not stalagmite, but whatever it is. I'm gonna... I'm gonna ditch this body purifier, because I don't need it. For the speed down, this is a very important item as well. You're gonna be using this in almost every boss battle for, for I believe, the rest of the game. Now, I'm going to head back to that save point, and, yeah, I think I have time. I think I, I think I have time to do it in this session. Yeah, I'm going to head back to that save point on my own time, rearrange my setup for the next fight, which we are going to begin next time on Let's Play The Legend of Dragoon. See y'all later.